Good afternoon. Welcome to Zoomer Hall, live from the Zoomerplex in Toronto's West End. We are on the air. We are streaming video at classicalfm.ca with live studio audience. You all look so good. And my name is Mark Wigmore, host of the Oasis here on the new Classical FM between three and seven weekdays. You all know that. Uh, today we are live in conjunction with Toronto Summer Music, and we present Toronto Symphony Orchestra concertmaster, lead violinist, New Orford Quartet member, Toronto Summer Music Artistic Director, Jonathan Crow, alongside fellow violinist Yolanda Bruno, one of the most exciting young musicians in Canada today. And we're gonna hear about the music in our program today. We'll give you a sneak peek of all the concerts happening this summer. So we're going to enjoy a beautiful hour of music with Jonathan Crow, Yolanda Bruno. It is live from Zoomer Hall on the new Classical FM.
We are live from Zoomer Hall here at the new Classical FM, streaming at classicalfm.ca. My name is Mark Wigmore, and working alongside Toronto Summer Music, it is Canada's great violinist, TSO concertmaster, artistic director with Toronto Summer Music, Jonathan Crow, and fellow violinist Yolanda Bruno. And we are live for the next uh, 45 minutes or so. And we just heard the Sonata in B flat for two violins from African French composer Joseph Boulogne, and uh, very much a composer in the conversation these days. Uh, Jonathan then Yolanda, welcome to Zoomer Hall. Good to see you both. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit, a few words about what we just heard. We heard a few movements there, and uh, yes. there's, there's a movie about this composer That's that just came out. That's correct. Yeah. Joseph Boulogne was born on the island of Guadeloupe. His mother was of Senegalese uh, heritage, and she was actually enslaved by um, Joseph's father. Uh, he was taken to France quite young uh, and grew up in sort of noble circles. He was, uh, turned out, a very, very good fencer, but um, he was getting a lot of attention, and because he was mixed race, that was challenging for the mid-18th century. Um, he, there were actually two assassination attempts on his life. You can imagine why it made a good and interesting movie. Yeah, he absolutely. also turned out to be... Swordsman, a, yes, musician. That's right. Sure, everything. That's where the Chevalier comes from. Right. And he also happened to be a virtuoso violinist and composer and conductor, and was even affiliated with Marie Antoinette at one point. And, and sometimes compared to Mozart, and so fantastic to hear that. Um, Jonathan, it just feels like Toronto Summer Music is really back in 2023, just a sparkling roster, an all-star guest list this year, and your theme, Metamorphosis. So we'll just pull back the curtain a little and, and tell us about how you put this season together. Yeah, of course. So. Um the theme itself, metamorphosis, can mean many different things. And one of the ideas is like how the pandemic has transformed the way artists interact sure. with audiences. Um, and a lot of the artists that you'll see are people that I saw a lot online during the pandemic. Artists that used Instagram, that used videos, that kind of communicated with everybody in the digital fashion. It's nice to bring them back to the concert hall. And then, of course, we have some of our old faithfuls, you know, we've got the Angela Hewitt, Sandra Radvanovsky, people that their touring was really interrupted by the last few years, and it's nice to see them back on the great stages making fantastic music for people again. Great show, Richard Amelin as well, and uh, we're going to hear from British composer Judith Weir next, living composer, which is always nice. Uh, Yolanda, a few words about what we're about to hear. Yes, she's originally from Scotland. She was actually the master of the Queen's music uh, in 2014. She became the first woman in, I think, its 400-year history History to take on that role and um, she's written this piece called Atlantic Drift essentially it is the relationship between music that crosses the ocean and I, I'm thinking of drifting a lot right now with the Atlantic with with the winds that are coming in and the smoke so it's quite it's quite related to what we're doing today uh, absolutely Jonathan Yolanda let's listen live from Zoomer Hall Atlantic Drift from British composer Judith Weir here on the new classical FM
I could smell the ocean air as we heard the Atlantic drift from British composer Judith Weir, Jonathan Crow, Yolanda Bruno in performance here this afternoon. A special presentation from the new Classical FM and Toronto Summer Music. It is Metamorphosis 2023. That is the theme. And some of the names there, Angela Hewitt, Charles Richard Amelin, Sandra Radbanovsky, John Kamira Parker, kids programming. There are free concerts, torontosummermusic.com to find all the listings and spaces. Walt Walter Hall, Kurtner Hall, many others. My name is Mark Wigmore, Hungarian composer, Bela Bartok, and Telemann's Gulliver's Travels, live from Zimmer Hall, returns here on the new Classical FM. They, they are page turners, yes, and um, they're both very useful because, um, you know, you don't have to seamlessly stop, you can keep going through the music seamlessly, but the challenge is every once in a while, they stop working. <laughs> and then you lose all trust, which happened last year in the middle of a great concert, but that it happens. Yeah. <laughs> not tonight, not today. You're jinxing it. Yeah, I'm watching you. How old were each of you when you started to play? Oh, that's a good question. I was six when I started to play. I wanted to play the cello, but we had a very small car, and I have an older brother and an older sister, and we had a Volkswagen Rabbit at the time, and we couldn't fit a cello. So I play the violin now, and I really enjoy it. Nice, and I was five and um, chose the violin. My mom is a violin teacher, and I asked to start around age five. Yeah. I was just wondering, your instruments um, match quite well, but Yolanda, when you first started playing, I wondered how old is your instrument, and it sounds very mellow. If I didn't hear the E string, I would have thought it was a viola. <gasps> oh my gosh, so th that's a great observation because it is quite a mellow, more earthy sounding instrument. They're both Italian violins made in the same century, probably within decades. This is 1737, made in Venice. Your instrument might be around. And mine is 1742, made in Cremona. Right. So yeah, from the same time, same place. They're all all made using the same wood from a specific mountain, and trees facing only in one direction, harvested at midnight at only a certain time. <laughs> no, this is actually all serious. At only a certain time when the moon was full, because it had to do with when, where the sap was and all this. And it's, oh my goodness. It's, yeah, it's uh, amazing. Amazing to read about, actually. Very complicated. Yes. Three minutes there, three minutes. What date do the summer concerts begin, and what date do they end? That's a great question. We run basically the month of July. Um, the opening night concert is July the 6th. That's a, a Thursday. And then we close basically the end of July, um, the last weekend, the last Saturday is our final concert. So if you want to go to a concert in July, basically any day of the week, any time, not Sundays, um, you can take a break then and rest, and then you can come to all of the other concerts. And we expect you back on Monday. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, I'm just curious, another question about your instruments. Do you, uh, they're obviously very old and valuable. Do you always play those instruments, or do you have a sort of everyday that you, uh, instrument that you cart around and use just in... That's Whenever. Such a good question. So yes, most of the time I am playing on this instrument and it is a great deal of responsibility. I went on a very short holiday last week for six days and I had to ask the neighbor to babysit the instrument just because you have an antique and a part of history. Um, some of us do have second fiddles to play sometimes outside in case there's a seagull above or something like that. But, so it was a good question. Atlantic drift. That, that's right. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, mine's the same, and that neither of us own these instruments, um, but we're both very lucky to have generous donors who allow us to use them all the time. Um, and, you know, we're very careful. We don't, yeah, outdoor concerts are kind of a no-no. Welcome back, live from Zoomer Hall at the Zoomerplex in downtown Toronto. My name is Mark Wigmore. We are enjoying a violin showcase, absolutely. Toronto Summer Music getting underway in just a few weeks, July 6th, torontosummermusic.com for tickets and info. So many brilliant performances to choose from. Artistic Director Jonathan Crow is with us. You know him from uh, just left of the podium at Roy Thompson Hall, concert master with the TSO, lead violinist, co-founder of the new Orford Quartet, and rising star Yolanda Bruno. We are so so thrilled to have you with us, and we'll speak with Yolanda a little more next. We'll continue. Selected duos for two violins. It's Hungarian composer Bela Bartok, live from Zoomer Hall on the new Classical FM.
You are with the new Classical FM. Here we are live from Zoomer Hall and uh, working alongside Toronto Summer Music. My name is Mark Wigmore. It is Canada's great violinist, TSO concertmaster, Toronto Summer Music artistic director, Jonathan Crow, and a wonderful talent in Yolanda Bruno together. And we are live, which is exciting. You can watch at classicalfm.ca as well. So we just heard selected duos for two violins, Hungarian composer Bela Bartok. I was just in Budapest, Hungary, and uh, some scrappy folk music there. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we just heard. Absolutely. So Bartok loved folk music of his region. He would go and wander Transylvania, um, Romania, Hungary, and the regions, and he would actually take recording equipment and he would record music by peoples that had never heard classical music before. And if you're bored one day, go onto YouTube and Google Bartok and Wax Cylinders, and you will find all these recordings, and they're from the Library of Congress. And it's brilliant stuff. And then he wrote this music and he tried to imitate the sounds that he heard. He didn't actually take the exact pieces for these, but sure. he made his own Arabian songs or his own Transylvanian dances right. and put them into these duos. Wonderful. Uh, seven movements there. And uh, we're so excited to meet uh, Yolanda Bruno. Uh, welcome Thank today. You. And award-winning soloist. You played with the TSO in 2019. We all know before what. And uh, played with the late uh, Queen at Buckingham Palace. Unbelievable. You've also played uh, in a busking capacity with heavy metal acts. And so I look at you as uh, the future of violin and classical music. I mean, talk about how, right. how you treat your career. I really appreciate that. Well, that heavy metal band, I... Uh, I had no idea, I didn't follow any band before, and then a producer wrote to us a year later and said, the record, it's like the biggest hit Parkway has, Drive has ever done, and it's got like 16 million streams in the wow. first day, and like, oh man, none of my classical music albums have that many views. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this is, you, you like to try different things, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that music, music is a, a healing mechanism for the soul. So if music can be shared in any context, here or outside, at a train station, in a hospital, in a subway, it doesn't really matter where. Um, if I can bring the violin and somebody is willing to have me, I'll be there. You've been a part of Toronto Summer Music in years past and different capacities. I know there's a mentorship program, a community program, and that's, and that's right. been helpful, I would that's, imagine. Yeah, absolutely. So I first uh, was at Toronto Summer Music Festival in 2011, and I was there as a student, and it was part of this side-by-side -side mentorship program. And it was the first time I played next to a pro. And that was a game changer, playing next to a professional and being pushed and realizing, oh, this is what it, this is what I'm going into like this is the field and this is what being in love with music really means and that was really special and then later I returned to do some community work where we play with amateur musicians and um, I love that because they re uh, inspire you to fall in love with music again you realize how special that is community outreach through Toronto summer music chamber music choir piano uh, we've got Gulliver's travels and the suite here from Telemann I think we'll hear a little more about it in a few moments uh, written just two years after uh, Jonathan Swift published his book, live from Zoomer Hall, Gulliver's Travel Suite, it is the music of Telemann on the new Classical FM.
Gulliver's Travels Suite from Georg Philipp Telemann and Jonathan Crow, Yolanda Bruno in performance this afternoon live from Zoomer Hall on the new Classical FM streaming video at classicalfm.ca. Uh, Jonathan, a quick word about what we just heard because I didn't know a lot about this piece. Yeah. Um, it's a very strange piece. Yeah. Um, and if you could see the music, it's even stranger because Telman writes the size of the characters into the size of the notes. Wow. So the Lilliputians are something like 128th notes or something. So that means you see a note and about six little kind of lines on it. And the Brobagdinians, did I get that right, are all in kind of like triple whole notes or something because they're big, they're huge, so they take more time. So we think of those little people in Gulliver's Travels being... Uh, spliced into the music. Exactly, somehow. kind of yeah. scurrying around. And then, of course, he writes the characters. The last one, you got the yahoos, that's Yolanda, where they're going a little bit crazy, where I'm trying to be all beautiful. And, <laughs> you know, and then eventually we kind of fight about it and come to a conclusion. He's writing a lot of program, a lot of the story into the music in lots of different ways. It's such a treat. It's so wonderful to hear the two of you together. And when it marries together so beautiful or when it's scrappy, it's just we are really enjoying this performance in moments. Uh, Handel Halverson piece, we'll get to that. Live from Zoomer Hall, more on Toronto summer music. We we are live from the new Classical FM. Hi, I know you're both professionals for many years. Do you still have teachers that you go to or who guide you to make sure that you don't fall into any bad habits or make mistakes? Because that's very, I know that's very easy to do. What a nice question. I, I personally do. I often play for my own colleagues. Um, they're people that I really trust and who know me well. Um, but I also, I, I um, love playing Baroque music and I have a, a kind of Baroque guru in Toronto named Julia Wedman. Maybe some of you know her here in Toronto. She plays with Tafel music. So I frequently go to her when I have questions about stylistic things that are kind of out of my normal circles. Yeah, that, it's a really great question. We all play so much chamber music, and our colleagues kind of keep us honest in that, um, mm. politely most of the time. Not, not always that politely. <laughs> I remember once a cellist in my quartet, you know, we're rehearsing, and it, it was, wasn't going so well. And you could, you could tell for about a year he was holding his piece with it. And eventually he said, oh, could we just take out the metronome and try that? And the three of us are deeply offended. We're professionals. We don't need a metronome. And, you can guess what happened when we put it on and we really learned, oh. Um, but when I have something that's very stressful for me, I like to play it for my students um, because it makes me very, very nervous to perform for my students and it helps me realize what I'm gonna be like on stage. And I also feel like if I've been telling them to do something all year, then it's maybe their turn to come to me and say, hey, you didn't do that. Why are you telling me to do it? And it keeps me honest a little bit. Nice. Nice question. Uh, so the next song, how many movements? One. One movement. One big one. Whew. One big one. <laughs> Lots of little stops, but the end is very obvious. Uh, Handel, arranged by a Norwegian guy named Halvorsen. And then rearranged by Heifetz. Oh, yeah, then for rearranged by Heifetz for Two Islands. Two Islands. So lots yeah. of arrangements going on. Yeah. 90 seconds to the floor, 90 seconds. Any more questions? Great. You guys can take a second. <laughs>
Welcome back. We are live at Zoomer Hall, the Zoomerplex in downtown Toronto. My name is Mark Wigmore. We are enjoying a dual violin showcase today. Toronto Summer Music helping us today uh, with this torontosummermusic.com for tickets and info. A wonderful roster of concerts this year. Uh, artistic director Jonathan Crow is with us uh, with the TSO, the New Orford String Quartet as well. So is rising star Yolanda Bruno. And uh, Jonathan, when the TSO comes to a conclusion every summer, you go right back to work. I mean, that, it, and this has been the case for many years now I mean how does that rhythm for you yeah it's a it's certainly a change of pace yeah. you know it's like I, I finish up and then sometimes we have a week sometimes we have two sometimes we have zero this one the end of the season I think we end on July 1st and Toronto summer music the Academy starts on July 3rd so there'll be a nice two days in there so you have relax. a nice little weekend yeah. there uh, <laughs> complete the rest of your life yeah. I'll, I'll ask you to point out three or four highlights that we should be zero, zeroing in on uh, as we look at the festival. There's a lot to choose from this There's year. a lot of great yeah. music, but uh, opening night, Ilya Ovcherenko just won the Esther Honens competition in Calgary for the complete pianist. He's amazing. He's a fantastic musician. Um, Ukrainian pianist will be playing Mozart, Rachmaninoff, some Ukrainian music, joined on stage by a string ensemble, which I'm going to be in, you've, and you've John Camere right Parker. Yeah. So, John uh, Camere Parker. Yeah, I mean, great, well, right. great, great piano. Anna Maria Martinez um, is a huge star in the world of opera, but for us, she's going to be doing uh, an art song program, um, all Spanish language, so it's right in her wheelhouse, and I'm really excited about that. It's in Walter Hall, so the acoustics are amazing, and just being close close to a person who would normally be very, very far away on stage or on a TV screen. I'll point out, too, Walter Hall and Kerner Hall, uh, some of your venues this That's year. That's right, yeah. Any, anything else? And then the Isidore Quartet, who just won the Banff International String Quartet Competition, coming, doing an amazing program, including Late Beethoven, which is one of my favorites, and I can't wait to hear them. All right, we are so excited. Uh, Yolanda Bruno, how's the rest of 2023 looking for you? Well, I'm going to take a little time off in July. I feel bad for Jonathan, <laughs> but I do have a nice concert with uh, some music by Marion Mosetti a Canadian composer. Uh, I'll play the solo for Affairs uh, for the Heart. Mm -hmm. And in Stratford, I don't want to tell you the date because it's in July and you should be here in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just know that it's in the background yes. there. Unless it's on a Sunday. <laughs> All right, it might be on a Sunday. We have a finale. What are we going to hear? <laughs> oh, we're going to hear Pasicalia by okay. uh, Handel Havorsen. All right, lovely. It has been so great to be with the two of you. We are live from Zoomer Hall. It's Jonathan Crow. It is Yolanda Bruno here on the New Classical FM.
The drama, just an absolute clinic, and the Handel Halverson piece, Pasacalia, and live from Zoomer Hall alongside Toronto Summer Music. Toronto Summer Music getting underway in just a few weeks. July 6th, torontosummermusic.com. For tickets and info, a big thank you to Toronto Summer Music Artistic Director Jonathan Crow and fellow violinist Yolanda Bruno. Just absolutely spectacular. We got the full range of the violin on that last piece. Uh, thanks to our live studio audience, our radio and television crew, and thanks for listening and watching at classicalfm.ca. My name is Mark Wigmore, back at 3 o'clock with another edition of The Oasis. We'll look forward to seeing you again live from Zoomer Hall. <laughs>